one. Look at Taylor. Look to your left, Taylor. <laughs> I just met Taylor this morning for the first time and she was just super nice, you know, came in, gave me a hug, said thank you for doing it, and I said thanks for letting me. Wasn't that bad. It's worst days at work, right? It's kind of crazy. I mean, she's kind of a mega star, and you know, even though I have a little bit of celebrity in my own right, it's still when you meet people like that, it's always like Wow, you're like just this person I see on TV or in the movies or at concerts, and now you're like right here and you're totally a normal person. <laughs> a lot of the time the artist is involved, but very little to this degree. You don't want to sing here? No. I'm just worried that... Yeah. Yeah. Just like the story like just completes itself. What normally happens is they send you the song, you write an idea, they say they like the idea, they don't like the idea, or I'd like to change this bit about the idea, but then we're good. But with Taylor, she knows what she's doing. She's got great taste, great sense of uh, style and, and ability. She creates this idea, I make it happen in concert with her. You, do you, you write on the same poster underneath, or do you write on a different poster? I think I write underneath it. Okay. She writes her own music, she's very involved in what she does. It's not just someone with a voice who's told what to do. She's kind of been, for the most part, guiding her own career and creating it. I've worked with lots of different artists, and Taylor, I have to say, for being as big an artist and as famous, has been an absolute joy, and for being such a young girl as well. She's really incredibly a decent human being and a real great collaborator and polite and lovely, which is not the way a lot of other artists are.